Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we have managed to implement the OHIP viewer, OHIP DICOM viewer inside of our custom web application. So our clients has some requirements that we have to meet. Like we have some custom requirements. So we also needed to use OHIF as our DICOM viewer, but along with OHIF, we also had to add features on top of that. So how we have managed to do, do so is like we, you can see from the OHIF viewers, we just cloned the repo and we set it up our, we, we set up the OHIF viewer with our DICOM server with our tank remote or tank and uh, from the or tank we are getting the uh, metadata for the each of the DICOM images and from there we you can see that uh, we have a button here so this is our host application basically there are two applications inside of the host application we are using the OHIF as an iframe so that's in the documentation of OHIF you can uh, surely read that so how we have done it, we have, if we inspect this, we can see, okay, uh, we should see uh, iframe here, let's see, alright, so basically what we are doing here is we are using the OHIF, in, uh, yes, you can see the iframe see if I click on the if I copy that link paste it here and hit enter uh, yeah we have like removed the logo and uh, we have removed some of the components and you can say that this is deployed in another URL and inside of our host application we are using the URL inside of this iframe so this iframe just interacts with our host application and uh, our host application has a feature called record here so you can it has the ambient options like it has the ambience intelligence when you click on the use let's say you say the findings lungs are well uh, aerated bilaterally no evidence of focal consolidation I'm not a radiologist but this is how the radiologist will read out the findings from the images so after that we will create a automated radiology report which will be generated through our ambience intelligence so yeah let's try that out Uh, for instance, if you give any wrong, here here we go. Yeah, here we can see the uh, outcome that we have got from the AI. You can edit, delete, sign. Uh, these functionalities are here for uh, our clients' requirements. So yeah, basically you can use the DICOM viewer inside of other web applications as an iframe. I think this. This scenario perfectly suits our, suits our use case, so yeah, we why not just use it, it's simple and uh, if you know how to communicate uh, with the right frame and uh, then you can send, you know, data back and forth with the application and uh, yeah, you can pretty much do that and if you don't know how to set up your Orthanc server with the DICOM viewer, uh, you can leave comments below, I, I can also follow up on that video giving you the right information so if you find that if you find this video useful please subscribe to the channel and support this channel thank you